Oh hello, I'm the Not Man, and I've been reading about Greek mythology. Eros to be exact, yeah. He had a bow and arrow, and what he used to do is if you fired that arrow and it touched you, you'd fall in love, bless. But I've got something a bit better than a bow and arrow. I've got this. Shall we have some fun in the garden? I'm going to teach you a few safety methods first. So, let's go in the garden and I'll teach you and we do a bit of shooting. Anyone? Okay, before I do any shooting, I just want to point out a couple of safety things for you. First of all, this is a high-powered Chinese 2-2 air rifle. It may be made in China, but this is maximum power. Air guns are not toys. They're not for children. Okay, there's a couple of safety things. Never point at animals, never point at children. Always make sure that the barrel has never got a pellet in it. If you can see down that, make sure it's never loaded. Never. Always take it out in a bag, never carry ammunition with you, and not in a public place anymore, not in the UK. Okay, it's got a locking feature. Okay, now I'm gonna take a few test shots to show you. I ask you cameraman to stand behind me for this because obviously I do not want any ricochets or any dangers because this is a health and safety issue. Just... Ready? Here, we've got a nice tin of 2-2 wasps, yeah? Very good pellets, they're dome heads. Uh, there's flat heads for target shooting and there's pointed, but I've always preferred dome heads. There you go, it's a nice 2-2 round pellet there. As I said, this is not a toy and uh, if you've had real training, I put them down there, you know that. Okay, as I say, this is only an air rifle, however, it mustn't be treated like a toy. So first of all, for safety, on this model, we push the thumb. That drops down the barrel, yeah? Here. Now, we're going to cock it. Now, she's now loaded full of air in the chamber. There's no safety switch on this at all. So, whatever you do, do not touch the trigger at this stage. Right, we've got a nice 2-2 dome, which we're now putting in there. Okay, now, I ask you cameraman to stay behind me, because this is when anything can happen. Right, she's now armed and ready. Never point the gun anywhere at the ground. And when we used to go on patrol, we always used to have our weapons pointed down towards the ground. We did not want to misfire or anyone getting shot. Right, okay. Now, down the end, there's a selection of stuff down there. And you can see the end, there's a brickwork wall. This is quite enclosed, this area. But for safety, first of all, I'm going to shoot into the old drum just to hear the tinks. So you can hear it. But this is quite loud and quite powerful. So, if you get over my shoulder and watch me, if you can follow down the sights, this is the fore sight and the back sight, these two here. We've got to try and line up the... The flat plate to this here, but if you could just follow me with the camera, can you see behind me? Okay, ready? Quite a nice crack on that, right? Okay. Now, I've actually, you can see the smoke coming out? I oiled the barrel the other day. I won't blow down it. I will, I will just shell it. Not bad. Uh, I do service this gun quite a bit. I've got quite a few uh, guns actually, but today I just want to show you this one. I won't go over the top with the pellets today. So, okay, if you stay there, she's armed again. Mustn't get near the trigger, there's no switch here. Just keep it down low. Never get your hand near that trigger too ready. To... Now, we're gonna see above that, there's a fuel can. I think it's actually, it's got some petrol in it, it's got some water, it's got a right mix. But let's just see if we can hit it, and we should do. So we line up nice and steady. Breathe, nice and steady, line up, and one, two, well, we'll take another shot at that. As I say, I am a shooter, but what, what I'm called is a plinker. A plinker is someone that shoots targets. I don't shoot animals. Um, no, I don't do that. I've just put a few pellets in my side pocket. And we will fire a few more shots off. But as I say, they all down. We'll take another one at the petrol can. We had a ricochet. That's quite rare. Let's cock it again. Put another round in it. Oh, we dropped that one. How clumsy. All right. Oh, we 
will hit the top hole. We'll go down and investigate that in a minute. Put another pellet in it. See, these are good garden guns. And if you've got a bit of woodland or farmland, but don't try and shoot anything really with these. I'd be game, it's just not good. Oh, look, we've done a sprout there. Look at that. Not too bad, is it? So we we'll go down and have a look at the damage in a minute. Down low. Got two sprouts. This is only over about an eight to nine meter range, but this gun can normally do about 20 meters. It's quite good and powerful. It's not too bad, is it? That bit, should we have? Well, we go down and investigate that then. And well, let's look at the damage then. Too bad, is it? Oh, it's got the pellet still in there. See, can you see it there? It's not too bad, is it? I wouldn't drink out of that now, the lead, but um, yeah, so for about 10 meters firing into a container, it's not too bad. The petrol can here it didn't really didn't pierce it, but you can see under the R of petrol, it's had an indentation, so it certainly did that. But this is uh, not a bad little rifle. Not a bad one. So, I think that's not a bad bit of shooting. I won't do much more, it's getting a bit dark now and I, I don't really want to upset the neighbours, but, so just remember the safety. Think safety, don't just fire at anything willy-nilly. Keep the gun unloaded and in a bag, locked away at all times away from children. I'm sorry if I go on, but safety is the most important thing. Right, and now I'm gonna pack up and wash my hands. I've been touching lead. Always remember, wash them down. Okay, time to put the gun away till next time. Cheers.